Welcome back to Power Lunch. We're broadcasting from the World Economic Forum in Cape Town at the Cape Town International Convention Centre. In the studio with me now is Busy Onasanya, who's the Group, M Group MD for the First Bank of Nigeria, Nigeria's biggest, biggest bank. Busy, thanks very much for Thank you very popping much. in. Give us an idea of the scale of your operations in Nigeria. First Bank is the biggest bank in Nigeria. We will be 120 years next year, March. We just posted a very decent 2012 performance. We have 700 branches, 2,000 ATMs, and we have a customer base of over 7 million customers. It's not just the biggest bank, it's now rated the second bank in terms of uh, customer satisfaction under the KPMG customer satisfaction survey in the corporate banking segment. And I'm proud to say that it's the bank to beat in Nigeria. It's a national icon, respected and regarded as a national institution. And it's indeed a privilege for me to be running this bank at this point in time. What about the Nigerian population? We talk a lot about in South Africa about how many people are either unbanked or more specifically underbanked. What's the situation in your country? Presently we have about less than 40% of the Nigerian adult population is banked. What we are trying to do in First Bank is to make sure that we move banking closer to the population by deploying mobile technology and mobile telephony products. We've also, in 2012, deployed over 100 new branches, brick and mortar branches, as part of our driving financial inclusion and also as part of our contributions to um, sustainability in banking principles. Now, the reality is that it's difficult and expensive to bank that segment of the market using brick and mortar. So it's got to be a combination of technology, brick and mortar, and solutions that would take banking to the masses. We believe very strongly that the launch of our mobile money product, which is using the mobile banking as a tool for banking the unbanked market, is going to be a successful model. But this requires a lot of investment in the short run, which we have done. And we launched the first money mobile banking product in August last year, and it's making tremendous impact on the population. It sounds like you've got your hands full in Nigeria, but do you have pan-African ambitions as well? We've always believed that Nigeria is the biggest market in, Af in sub-Saharan Africa, with the exception of South Africa. But we believe that we would be losing focus if we leave the Nigerian market and begin to chase the smaller market. However, we are at a stage now where we feel very comfortable about our dominance in Nigeria. We have a strategy to move to about some countries outside Nigeria. We started testing the market with our acquisition of a bank in the Democratic Republic of Congo early last year, which is a very good investment. We've learned lessons from that and it's a good investment. We do have plans to be in some other African countries. At this moment, we have we are not in a position to disclose further details because we'd like to go through due process. But clearly, it's something that is on the table. What about South Africa? South Africa is the biggest economy on the, on the continent, and there's a big Nigerian population here, particularly in Johannesburg. We have a representative office in South Africa. We did apply to the South African government to register that formally with the possibility of moving in to converting it into a branch. We had some initial problems, and I think um, during the state visit, the president did promise that he had given directives to the South African finance minister to grant us the license to be in South Africa. This so is up to now you haven't, you haven't been granted a license? No, we, we were just granted an, a license to open a representative office in Nigeria. Mm. But we needed a license to be registered as a brand, as FBN in the UK, in, the, in South Africa. But there were challenges from first round merchant bank on the excuse that the FNB conflicts with the word FBN. And on that basis, we were asked to withdraw our application, which we did. But on the intervention of the South African president, based on his promise uh, two days ago, we intend to resubmit that application to consider the options open to us in view of upgrading from being a rep office to a business office. But beyond that, we do not have a plan to open to establish a full-fledged bank in South Africa, but we do have plans in the near to medium term uh, period of converting it into a branch so that we're able to serve uh, the African community in South Africa. Very quickly and finally, your, your shareholder base, what is it like? I mean, as you grow and as the Nigerian economy grows and as Afro-optimism grows as well, is there a lot of foreign interest? Yes, um, presently what we try to do is to diversify the shareholders' base of First Bank and make sure that we balance it with retail, uh, we dilute the 
a very high retail proportion of our shareholder base. Now we have been able to increase the share of foreign investors in First Bank to close to 10% today. In the next two weeks, we'll be going on an international roadshow. And as the bank's performances become improved, it's becoming much more appealing to the international investing community. And I'm proud to say that it's becoming a toast of the market, and people are now much more interested outside Nigeria in owning shares in First Bank of Nigeria. Very good. We'll leave it there. Thanks very Thank much for your time. Thank you very much. My, my pleasure. That's busy on Asanya, who is the Group, M, Group MD of First Bank of Nigeria, which is Nigeria's largest bank.